welcome to Espo Super Short Show. My Super Short Show. Hi, welcome to I Espo. Welcome to the Daily Show with Espo. Anyway, some people drink coffee, some people drink tea, but I drink cereal. Mmm, one place. Okay, so today I'm going to be answering some questions about love. So there's this thing called the 36 set of questions and it's from Modern Love, the podcast from the New York Times. And there are three sets of questions, but I'll just go through the first set for now. Question number one. Given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Damn, little lady. You so can't put it away. <laughs> I think I would choose Trevor Noah. I think he's a very funny character, very smart, and he could teach me a lot in one conversation. Probably pay for dinner because he seems like a gentleman. He'd be a great guest. Question number two. Would you like to be famous? And in what way? I would like to be famous, but I don't think I would like to be too famous. I think that would be too complicated. I mean, and I didn't ask for fame. I did not ask for fame. I want to be famous in my own way, good way, and by spreading talents and spreading art and love. Number three, before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say and why? <laughs> Sometimes I do just a little quick rehearsal, maybe just a brief outline. If it's a professional call, like for work, you might want to think about it a little bit more. I really like making phone calls, so sometimes I just go for it because that's the best way to just get it done and out of the way. Number four, what would constitute a perfect day for you? A perfect day would just be sitting at home and eating pizza. I like pizza. Everyone likes pizza. Listening to music or watching a movie or a TV show. Just having time to relax. I'm so used to telling myself what to do, getting a lot of tasks done in a short amount of time. So just having the whole day to be able to make decisions of what I want to do. Number five. When did you last sing to yourself and to someone else? Well, I think I sing to myself all the time. We let the dogs out! Actually, the last time I sang to someone else was last night because my colleague and I were setting up for an event. We decided to do karaoke. Six, if you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 days of your life, which would you want? If I were 90 and I had the choice of being 30, um, that's a really difficult one. I wouldn't want to stay in the mindset of a 30 year old. A 90 year old brain probably has a lot more in storage. But try to keep the body of a 30 year old as weird as that would look, because it seems pretty impossible. So a lot of people would be very confused if they found out I was actually 90. Seven, do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? I do think about death a lot, but I don't think I have a hunch as to how it's gonna happen. It's just gonna be something sudden. What's scary is that People don't know how they're gonna die and it just makes them sad or stresses them out. The time I get to sleep. Number eight, name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. I heard this comedian say recently, it's not about what you have in common, it's about your common dislikes and what you hate together. There's that girl I was telling you about. Hmm? You just hate on <laughs> something <laughs> together. Nine, for what in your life do you feel most grateful? Lessons that I've learned in life. That's how you look back and you realize that you've grown. I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. So the progress you've made was so lost during that time. I didn't know how I was going to go on. Looking back, maybe I made some good choices, maybe I made some bad choices. But I like where I ended up and it helped me figure out where I should be. 10. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? It's very easy to say I wish I would have had this or I wish I would have had something. I actually appreciate the things I didn't like about my childhood. In my own little world, I, would, I just always was at home. I didn't really do much until I was able to do it on my own, AKA college. I was mostly just always at home. No one ever really came over. Very secluded sometimes. Not that I cared at the time. It would be awesome to have had a lot of play dates and like these huge birthday parties. I didn't really have that. And I think that's kind of a good thing because that made me just realize that when I was older, and, you know, I want these things to happen and then I just make them happen. I feel like I enjoy adulthood so much more than a lot of other people. Because they've got these incredible boobs to fill it out. I'm able to fun and be a kid in my own way. 
I'm going to skip number 11 because it says take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. What does my girl say? I think throughout I've told you a lot, right? So I think I told you my life story. It took a lot more than four minutes. Number 12, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? This is where I'm going to quote Trevor Noah in his book, Born a Crime. He talks about the quote, you know, you teach a man to fish. Um, what's the quote? It's true what they say, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, but you give a man a cow and he can eat for a month, maybe more. No, you give a man a fish and you'll be fed for a day. You teach a man to fish, then he'll be fed for a lifetime. And one thing that he points out is that it would be nice if you give that person a fishing pole. Someone bequeathed a CD writer to him when he was beginning his DJing career as a younger kid. At first, he could only do so much with his little business because he had a few friends that were business partners. It wasn't until he got that CD writer that he was able to make the business on his own. He couldn't have afforded it on his own. It was this friend that he had that was like, here, I'll, I'll let you have it because I don't need it anymore. That's such a good point that, first of all, I laughed out loud, but it just made me think because it's true, people can say, oh, you can do whatever you want if you believe, but you know, if the circumstances are different, you may not be able to afford uh, things that you need to fulfill your dreams. It made me think, there are moments in my life where I've given people things that I don't want or need anymore, never not a big deal. Someone received a gift for me and lightened him up because it was something that he wouldn't normally be able to get for himself. Oh, you should have. That made a difference and then it just makes me want to make more of the choices to help people out, especially if it's something I don't want or something I don't need. That's it for the set of questions in set number one. I hope these questions get you thinking too because they're technically about love but it doesn't have to be love for someone else. I think it could be love within yourself and, and how you want to succeed and, and what you're looking for just to become a better person. And today our special guest is Benji. So Benji, how long have you been a dog? I'm gonna take it that you've been a dog all your life. You're gonna break it even more. <laughs> and I'll answer some more questions next time. Have a great day. Welcome to the Espo Show. Hi, welcome to Espo TV. Welcome to Espo Marvels. Just record whatever. <laughs> Why are you getting so angry?